All right, so here I am with the uh, Panasonic CFT8. And if your LCD looks like this, or you have dead pixels, or what, what, whatever may be wrong with your LCD and you need to replace it, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. All right, so first, after you determine whether your LCD is bad and needs to be replaced, we're going to need to remove a total of eight screws. Two on the left, left hand side of the left hinge, and two on the right hinge cover. We have two under this little flap. There's two silver screws here. And then on the LCD bezel, there's two rubber bumpers on the top, where there's two screws under there as well. For this, we're going to use a number zero screwdriver, a plastic pry tool, a suction cup. This is, the suction cup is an optional tool; you don't need it. A small flathead screwdriver to remove the bumper uh, covers. So, let's get to it. I like to remove. The, the screws on the inside of the LCD here, for, on the inside of the, of the bezel here, just remove the little bumper covers with the flathead, and that's all you need the flathead for. These will be tight on there. I've removed mine uh, quite a few times, so they're loose now, but they have, uh, they're pretty, pretty tight when you first get to it. So we remove these two black screws. All these screws will only fit in one spot, so fairly easy to remember. Then I like to remove the ones under the cover here. And in removing those four screws, if this is what is broken, like on mine is cracked, okay, you just lift up, pull it towards you. and it'll come out and then you can just go ahead and replace this part and if that is all that is broken then you can just stop watching the video now and to replace it you just make sure that these tabs line up on the slots here lock it in and drop it flat and you're completely done replacing your cracked part but if we have to remove the LCD let's go ahead and get to that okay I like to open it up to prop it open so that it doesn't wiggle around or tip over on me. So remove the two screws from the right hinge. When you remove this, there will be a little metal, uh, let's see if you can see that. It's just a little metal hook that goes flat, ag uh, flat against here and it helps line your hinge cover and the screw. So then we flip it over. We'll do the left side. Put that aside. Okay, now we're done. We'll close the lid. <clears throat> if you're not going to use a suction cup, here, I'll do it without the suction cup. Okay, so just start prying on the back part of the, the lid. Just go over it a couple times and kind of hold it with your, your fingers, with your free hand, just to keep it elevated a little bit and go to the, either the right side or the left side or whatever side you want to do first. Um, and all while putting a <clears throat> putting, I'm sorry, excuse me, putting upward pressure. So let me switch hands, see if I could do it with my left hand. Um, always putting le uh, upward pressure while prying it. Okay. See, we have one on the corner here. 
that is being stubborn. So there we go. Now, <clears throat> when you completely break this loose, you got to be careful. There's a wire that runs along the right corner all the way and plugs into here that powers your boards in this area here, which would be your 3G card. So we don't want to rip that cable. Mine is already unplugged. I, I've opened this unit so many times. But let me plug this back in so you can, you can see what we got to do here. Okay. So with a plastic pry tool, or you can use a flathead screwdriver, a small flathead screwdriver, if you don't, you know, if, but if you're going to need one of these, you don't want to damage your case when you're removing it. Just kind of see if I can, maybe I can zoom in a little more. Let me, let me try zooming in. Okay. Yeah, it's in, it's in there. So what I do is I just get on the right side, start prying it out. Same thing coming from the left side and just start slowly prying it. Don't put too much pressure on it. We don't want to break any any of the pins that this connects to. Just in case you do have the 3G card. And then you just simply grab onto this plastic here, the black plastic on the corner. Peel it away. Let me zoom out. Okay. And there you have it. You have removed your lid. So now we have access to your LCD. <clears throat> Put that cable that we just removed out of the way. Here we have your video cable. This is going to be either a blue ribbon or, or I don't know what color it would might be. It, it, they might use a different one. Let me zoom in here so we can... This is really hard. I'm using a, a, a soldering third hand as a tripod. Um, so what I like to do is I like to hold on to my inverter board. You might have to lift up on it a little bit. Grab on to the side with your index and your thumb and just wiggle it out very, very gently. To remove the video cable, I use my pry tools pointy end and just one side at a time, but just a little bit until it comes out on its own. Okay, there's this black tape here, and there's a tab right here that the that secures the the video cable from you know just moving around freely. So we just have to slide it out, move that out to the side, but don't put too much pressure on it because there is another connection under here that connects to that cable that comes along with it. So we remove this black plastic cover here. Hold down your any any cables that are attached to it. Just hold them down. Tape this on itself down here with a double sided tape. This is your touch screen uh, cable. Okay, so we're gonna use the pry tool just one side at a time, very gently. Slide that out. Move it over. This one again, we can use our index and thumb and just wiggle it very very slowly and gently. Now we have the video cable and your power cable for your accessories out of the way. Okay so now we can remove, let me zoom out just a tidbit here. Okay. There's two foam strips here that we got to remove. Mine come off easy. You can uh, to re reapply these. I would recommend having some double-sided tape. Um, you could just pick some of that up at your local hobby shop or whatever. You know, craft craft store. I use uh, double-sided ATG tape. It's a transfer tape. Very easy to work with. So then we have <clears throat> on here in the corners. We'll have. Maybe I'll have to zoom. Uh, I'll just leave it there. It's just these little like cloth <laughs> tape or whatever this is that goes. They go over your hinges on either side on the right. Um, oh, there goes the phone sliding off the thing here. 
really need to invest in a freaking tripod, I tell you. Okay. So now there is a double sided uh, double sided strip of, or a strip of double sided tape that run, uh, runs along the top of your LCD, bonding it and keeping it secure with your touchscreen. So I use a heat gun. I put it on medium heat or low heat. As long as it feels warm, it'll be fine. As long as it doesn't burn your hand, it'll be okay. Then you just run it along. I've already done it a lot of times with this one, so I'm not going to turn it on. You just run it along at a fast pace. You don't want to sit too long on one area because then you start melting your plastic and you don't want to do that. So once that is done, you could take your plastic pry tool while it's still, still warm and start lifting up from the back end on each corner okay and then you can go ahead and stick your pry tool on the front and run it along and of course this is when your LCD is be it's broken or cracked or not working properly that you're going to be doing this so if you recrack it or add more cracks then it is fine and here is the I don't know if you can see that there's the strip of double sided tape right there Okay, so that's what we're warming up just to loosen up the bond so that we can get it all out. And of course, to replace your LCD, you just reverse the steps. Hold out your wires, get them all out of the way. Um, push down on that. Apply new double-sided tape to these. Drop those back on there. And then we can start reattaching. Uh, to run the wire, you there's a groove uh, along your hinge here, so we'll just follow that little groove, and we will reapply the power to the the touchscreen. Okay, and then we will reattach your touchscreen ribbon cable and. Just simply <clears throat> lock them back in with your pry tool and your fingernail or two fingernails. You can just lock it back in and there you go. Then untape that, tape that over, plug in your inverter board, line the video cable up before you start putting it in and then push with, with two fingers, with two index fingers, just push in the tabs like that then we are ready to continue on to reinstalling our lid let me zoom back out so we can see what we're doing okay <clears throat> all right so now flip the lid over this goes in through the to the side here there's a, there's a little gap this goes in through here um, I like to connect the ribbon cable first before we get any further into it. So I run it all the way to the side, all the way to the side here. Just uh, be patient. Don't try to get all frustrated. Don't get frustrated and try to go quick. Just take your time. Okay, and then just line on that line it up with your double-sided tape that is still there I mean that glue should hold it it doesn't need to be really really tight on there and then you just simply lay it down with a generous amount of force but not too much to re you know you don't want to recrack your LCD you just go around the edges as long as you hear it snap you're good to go okay so now we can re uh, reinsert this part there and let's go ahead and for here we put in the silver screws in first. That way this doesn't fall off when we're 
putting our hinge cover back on. Close that. Open this back up. Let's remember, put our little metal alignment thing down and slide the hinge cover over it. Put the screw in. Now the small screw that goes alongside. Sometimes you just have to push down on it to line it all up again. Okay, now that that is all lined up, now we flip it over to the other side. Okay. Grab the lining metal piece for this side. Put our slip our hinge cover on it. Put that screw in there and apply our last screw here on the side. Now we inst now we re install our screws on the inside of the LCD bezel. Okay. Once we have those just hand tight, don't get all don't don't try to tighten them too much. You don't want to strip them because they will keep on spinning as it is they thread on into a plastic slot so you know the threads are all plastic so we don't want to we don't want to strip them and then mess it up every insert your bumpers your little rubber covers and there you have it and then just test it um, I would test it before you uh, go ahead and close it all up but just you know snap the lid on there and there you have it you've now replaced your broken damaged dead pixel LCD on a Panasonic CFT8 um, I do believe the process is the same for the T7's uh, CFT7 model tough books um, pretty much any that look like this the process should be exactly the same as long as the screws are in the same place here for the hinges well good luck be careful um, just be very gentle when removing the lid as to not uh, to uh, tug on any of the cables or any connections too hard. We don't want, you don't want to rip those because you don't want to have to try to find the parts for those. Uh, they, can, they can be quite expensive. Well, thanks for watching and have a good day.